hello and welcome back to deja vu welcome back welcome back and to my newbies welcome this is a general reading so it will not resonate with everyone so please take what resonates and leave the rest all right now in my meditation before the reading the message was and I think that it may be the title of this uh, maybe I may use it as the title but the message I received was tune in tune in tune in your higher self is calling and what worked before may not work the same for you now Behold the new new. And then I said new you question mark. All right. So that may not resonate with everybody, but this is a very specific message um, for some of you to tune in. Don't go off the last answer you got when you were going through the last thing because that might not work for this thing. Okay. You're going to need to go within. Go within and you will never go without. All right. So let's see. Let's get into your reading. Let's get into your reading. What is coming up? Is there some new things coming? I just heard the word suddenly. Okay. Suddenly and the vibration of it feels positive. Feels like something positive may be coming through for you suddenly okay you've been putting in some work you've been putting in some very you've been doing some very practical things right which is good you always want to do the practical things but don't forget to tune in to your own intuition don't forget to however you best tune into your intuition whether that's meditation prayer Yoga, exercise, you know, best way to tune into your intuition is to be tuned into your own body, okay? Tuned into your own feelings. So you have to feel your feelings in order to tap in, okay? First card out, the high priestess. Come on now. Confirmation right off the bat, baby. Trust your intuition. I love it. I love it. I love it when me and spirit team up, okay? Because me and God are a majority. You and God are a majority, okay? Trust your own intuition. Number two at the top of the card. Whew. Careful reflection before taking action. Insights that come through meditation. Oh, my God. Thank you, spirit, for confirming the message, okay? <laughs> and then we got the dreamer yeah you are gonna need that sense of certainty that comes from trusting your own inner guidance in order to take this big leap going forward all right you're gonna need that embrace your true purpose begin a new adventure and trust yourself Trusting yourself is all about trusting your own intuition, being in tune with your own inner authority, right? When you're in tune with your own inner authority, the stuff that people on the outside come and tell you, it's either a confirmation or it's a no-go because you already know. Hello. I wasn't even trying to rhyme. <laughs> All right, I'm getting your spread out, and it looks good. It looks good. You just need to trust your intuition. Don't second-guess yourself. Go with your first mind. All right, because it looks like you've already put in some time, some effort, some money. Um, and now they're saying, have patience, don't worry. This is in the past energy, though, with the seven of autumn. It's all about seeds being well planted, right? It's all about uh, the time and the patience and the planning and the work and the effort and everything that you've sacrificed, everything that you've invested 
has been worthwhile. But you need to keep going. You need to keep going. You 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 have made some accomplishments. There's a, actually a celebration coming up, but you are going to need to continue pushing forward. You've already entered your new beginning with the Ace of Summer here. You've already entered your new beginning. And now it's about keeping your heart open to what's next. Trusting the process. Trusting yourself. Because something is about to take off. We got the chariot card crowning you. Right? The chariot card is all about success that comes from dedication and self-discipline. Like, like I was just saying, you've already put in the work. It's, it's a prudent and wise investment. So keep going. But you're going to need to tune in a little deeper. And celebrate your accomplishments, right? Celebrate your accomplishments. This is a time of celebration coming up with the Three of Summer. News worth celebrating is coming up. The Chariot card is coming up. That's about success and fast forward movement. And also... The king of summer. This is someone that can possibly help you moving forward. For some of you, this is a romantic partner that's that's helping you or that's going to help you. For some of you, this is a, uh, a business uh, business uh, cohort. Um, Someone who's in the same realm as you that's seeing what you're doing, seeing the work that you've already put in, and they already have confidence in you, but they are watching you to see what you're going to do next because your next move looks like it's going to be pivotal. And in order to make that next move, you are going to need to trust yourself, okay? <clears throat> the word autonomous comes to mind okay we've also got the five the unity card which is like the hierophant doing the right thing for the right reason right comparing traditional versus uh versus new approaches to see which works for who you <laughs> Not Sam, not Molly, not Timothy, not Craig, not Tommy, not Michael. You. What works best for you? You need to consider what works best for you first. Because if, if it doesn't work for you, it's not going to be a win-win situation, is it? It has to work for you and for them. So you're going to need to trust your gut. Consult spirit. You know, prayer, meditation, take a long walk, whatever it takes for you to tune in and 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 find that that courage and find that confidence, find that sense of certainty that says, yes, this is it. And then move forward with inspired action. All right. And it's talking about being assertive, right? So a lot of times we can't we we're not we're not really down to be assertive unless we're sure, right? So you have, need to get sure. It says be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Same thing with that unity card that came out. Do the right thing for the right reason. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going your way, right? When you tune into your intuition, and you move accordingly, you move with spirit, because that's what your intuition is, basically, is your own inner connection to spirit, to source, to God, um, to the higher power, to your higher self, just like, I guess, the title of this message, tune in, tune in, tune in, your higher self is calling, because when you do that, everything is going to go your way. So some of you are considering an offer, right? This is a good person or company to work for. Some of you are considering an offer that you just received. And basically, Spirit is saying, follow your intuition, you know? Um, with the High Priestess card, it's like, it's about trusting your intuition, careful reflection before taking action. Um, and following your intuition is also not about rushing, um, 
your intuition or Holy Spirit um, is about slowing down, being still, and letting the answer come to you, right? The answer is not going to come to you if your mind is busy, right? Um, if the water is, if somebody's been splashing around in the water, right? Like this water right here, you can't really see down through to the bottom because there's too much activity on the surface, right? But once you let that water get still, once that water is still, you can, and it's clear, you can look straight through clear to the bottom, right? If it's clear water, of course. If the water's murky, right? There may be some things that you need to clean up, some things you need to let go of that are, you know, like distractions, right? Um, and once we release distractions, things, and people that are no longer serving us, it becomes a lot easier to tune in uh, to our own intuition. Another thing is you want to shield yourself from the negative emotions of others. You just want to shield yourself from the energy of others, period, at least for a time so that you can tune in because, you know, all that energy around you, how can you tune in to your own energy if it's a lot of other energies and things going on, you know, a lot of chatter and things going on around you. Um, so it's a matter of getting still, a matter of uh, spending some time alone and... And for some of you, it's a shift, right? With the hangman or the awakening card, this is talking about shifting the way that you're looking at a situation. Uh, also, this is about embracing your own uniqueness, right? Embracing who you are, accepting who you are. And a lot of times... Um, when we don't understand something, we reject it um, because of fear of the unknown, right? But we can't fully understand a thing until we first accept it, right? So whether that's talking about yourself, accepting yourself as you are right here, right now, or accepting the situation as it is right here, right now and just sitting with it and being still not worrying about the future because it's not here yet not worrying about the past because it no longer exists it's gone right all we have is now so grounding yourself in this now moment where all of your power resides anyway because past is gone the future ain't here yet all you have is now. Ground your energy into right here, right now. Getting still, taking a temporary pause. That Because this is coming up in your advice. Taking a temporary pause. This is what it's going to take for you to tune in a little more. All right? And he looks like he's diving deep. All right? That's what it takes sometimes. You just got to get still so that you can get that download or so that spirit can give you the message that that they're trying to give you you know because god is always talking to us god spirit source whatever you want to call it your higher self higher power it's all the same it's all energy it's all energy um tune in tune in tune in your higher self holy spirit God, source energy is calling you. Do you hear? Do you hear him? Tune in, baby. <laughs> Embrace your uniqueness. Take a temporary pause so that you can hear. All right. So it looks like, so this, this is something, it looks like for some of you, this is something that you're going to be doing as a collaboration. And you're going to need to take immediate action after you tune in and get the rest of the information that you need to move forward and it's going to move fast it looks like it's going to move fast it's just a matter of you tuning in making that decision and then bam 
fast forward movement in a positive direction. So there's nothing to be scared of. God, you and God are a majority. There is absolutely nothing to be afraid of. Um, for God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Okay? So there is nothing to fear, but fear itself. And fear is not even a thing. False evidence appearing real is not a thing. All right? And... And on the other side of that fear, it looks like it's a possibly a new relationship. Now, for some of you, that's romantic. For many of you, this is career. This is a, a work partnership, but it's a beautiful one at that. This is a beautiful relationship, whether it's, it's, whether it's business or personal, you know. But you got to tune in, tune in, tune in. Because look, in your, in your heart of hearts, you're already somewhat tuned in. If you got the sun card in your inner feelings position, right? This is all about gratitude. This is, a, this is all about plans that work out the way they're supposed to, right? Some things may be a little different, but the overall goal being met and, and coming out better than, than you imagined. Yep. Amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations. I love that. I love that. Uh, and then what's crowning you? I already showed you the chariot card. We got news work celebrating coming up in the future position. And then in the outcome position is a partner you can trust. So this is a partnership that's going to be very successful because it looks like you've been going it alone for some time. Some of you, you've been going it alone for some time. So you know how to work your end of the work. Uh, but you want to check inside and, and make sure uh, that you're, that this partnership is it. You want to make sure, you want to tune in and ask for a little bit of nuance, you know, because everything they're doing might not mesh well with everything you're doing. So you want to see what works well, what doesn't, right? And spirit will lead you to all of those answers before you even get with this other person to go over all of the details. So by the time you get with the other person or people, the information you receive from them will just be a confirmation. And that's why I love, that's how spirit works. You know, you go over these things. You just, you got to ask the right questions. You got to ask the right questions. I don't know if y'all remember that movie, I, Robot. But um, the scientists who made the robots had left, you know, detailed instructions and messages, but in a, uh, like a hologram form, but you had to ask the right questions, Right. Or you wouldn't get those definitive answers. Spirit kind of works the same way sometimes. You got to ask questions. <laughs> and you got to ask the right questions. And, and the more you consult with spirit, the more you see how it works. And the better you get, right? That's just how it works. Just like any other relationship, as you get to know a person, when they say certain things, you know how, you know, you know the way that they normally approach certain subjects. You know what their favorite subjects are. You know how they like to approach things, right? You get to know their ways, right? Spirit is the same way. Having a relationship with spirit, God, source, higher self, higher power, whatever you want to call it, okay? I ain't going to keep saying that. Y'all know what I mean by now. Um, <laughs> it's just a matter of, of tuning in. Um, just like, you know, when you become new friends with a person is, you know, you get to know them through, through conversation, through different experiences together, right? Through time spent together is the exact same with, with spirit, you know? So overall, this is a very positive message, but I can't reiterate enough, um, for guaranteed success, tune in to your higher self. Tune in, tune in, tune in. Your higher self 
is calling. And you know, a lot of times you, we pick up intuition through our bodies. So tune into your body, quiet your mind, give your body what it needs. Those messages will come through clearly. Thank you for tuning in. That has been your message. Uh, thanks for tuning in again to Deja Vu. Uh, until next time, peace and blessings. Mm-hmm.